The TV about the size of a damn tablet. Feel me? I don't know how a family of five was supposed to watch that. Like, the TV was small as hell. Small as hell. Like, not even... The TV wasn't even shoulder width the part, my nigga. This shit was like kitty meat with the part. You feel what I'm saying? Right here type shit. What's good action pack it's your boy action jackson back with another video for y'all today man today's video is gonna be a story time man as you've seen from the title the nastiest hotel i've stayed in man listen <sighs> treacherous times growing up bro first of all let me just start off by saying i appreciate everybody who came through from the uh last video i made um the short i made about how fries be on social media i noticed that i was getting a lot of recognition and views from that so a lot of people show interest a lot of likes appreciate everybody coming through the channel man subscribing you feel me supporting your boy you feel what i'm saying uh as there is more to come feel me um pause so I haven't did a story time in a while, man, and I feel like I should share one with y'all today, man. This, this story time is gonna be the nastiest hotel I've ever stayed at, man. So make sure you smash that like button, man. If you're new to the channel, press that subscribe button, man, and let's get into it, man. First of all, I'm gonna say this. I don't know if the homeless shelter counts or not. You feel what I'm saying? Around ages 10 and 11, I was homeless. You feel me? Homeless with my mom and my brothers, two brothers, one younger sister. For what I'm saying, uh, we was homeless, man. I don't think the homeless shelter counts, though. Uh, as a hotel, that's kind of mandatory. You don't check in, you check out. Nigga, that's where you live. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm not going to bring up that. But the nastiest hotel that I ever stayed at, and some of you guys could probably relate, is Red Roof Inn, bro. Growing up, when I was like 11, like I said, we stayed in the homeless shelter, man. We had uh, went through a program called Red Cross, feel what I'm saying? Um, it was like a relief center um, with like tragic, it happened like they, they really help families in like tragic events, natural disasters, um, just people going through like losing their homes or uh, in between homes, stuff like that, man. And we was going through really tragic times um, after being foreclosed homes, foreclosed on homes and stuff like that, evictions, et cetera, et cetera. You feel what I'm saying? So after leaving the homeless shelter man we were literally in between living situations so we were at red roof inn we checked in the red roof inn the, the living conditions were really were not good at all at red roof inn first of all these nasty motherfuckers first of all the roof not even red i don't even know why y'all call it red roof inn that roof damn near ruby brown type shit you feel what i'm saying like the red is fading y'all need to at least paint the roof red if you want to bring in if you want to stand by your name at least get the roof red the motherfucker brown right now okay like it's it's real tart you know what i'm saying like like spoiled cherry tart it's not red no more um yeah red roof is probably the nastiest hotel i've stayed in man for real um this is at a younger age you feel me so there's no control of me being able to check out or 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 get out of uh get out of that situation you feel me we just had to deal with it we had to be in that situation that's where we laid our head you feel what i'm saying so i don't even think bed bugs was out at this time you feel me it's like a it's like a designer you feel what i'm saying like i don't think bed bugs were out in back when i was 10 or 11. you feel what i'm saying i can't even remember how long long ago that was i'm 24 now minus 11. Uh, 13 13 years yeah, I don't think bed bugs was out. They wasn't really popping for real. I don't think whoever brought bed bugs to this country, you feel what I'm saying? Or if they were, I don't know where bed bugs originated at. Let me just say that. You feel what I'm saying? If it's a U.S. thing, it is. You feel me? But wherever they just, they just popped up. They just popped up. But that's besides the point. Bed bugs didn't exist, so we cool there. But every other thing did exist, though. Roaches existed. Termites existed. Mice existed. Or meese mice moose mice existed all that existed you feel what i'm saying and red roof Inn had all of the above you feel what i'm saying like we checked into our room first of all when you get to the hotel the rooms aren't even inside they're outside you feel what i'm saying you can see niggas pulling their luggage to the room pulling it to the room no there's stairs there's no elevators out there you feel what i'm saying they kind of probably installed some now but there were no elevators at the time so we pull up my mom had a red 
405 Dodge Caravan that she used to pull up in. You feel me? Used to keep all of us in. We used to stay. We used to like live out of it, and we used to like just get around in it. You feel what I'm saying? So she had this Dodge Caravan. We pulled up. I'm looking out the window. That it literally looks like tragedy. If you ever seen the movie New Jack City, it's like the New Jack City building, just outside and a lot small, smaller. It's like chopped in half by stories. You feel what I'm saying? So if you ever been to a Red Roof fan, you know what that's like. Um, but yeah, man, it looked real tragic out there. Like it looks sad. Just like the Great Depression for real pulling up, you feel what I'm saying? I'm already depressed, I'm already sad as a child, you feel me? Because we coming from a homeless shelter, you feel me? So I'm not as deep in, the, deep in my feelings and deep in my thoughts, but it's still like, it's still fucked up for me. We check in, it was an Indian man at the desk, you feel me? I forgot what his name name was, like Paul G the Paul G. And he has a fucking, uh, it's on his name tag, big name tag that says, Hello, my name is with a Red Roof Inn logo. Feel what I'm saying? Turban on, then he had some some shit on. I, I don't even remember the, the the full clothing, but that's that's all I know. Um, it's a nasty ass water fountain machine to the side of us. Not one of those ones you see at the gym. It's ones with the jug at the at the top that's flipped over. You gotta pour yourself a cup. Nasty ass rusted water machine with no no cups at all. No cups. You can't even get no water. You gotta put your hands under there and have somebody else pull the lever for you to drink it. I'm not saying I did that. I'm just saying that's what would have to happen if you wanted some damn water from that. I didn't personally think I would want none anyway, the way it was looking. After checking in, man, the lobby looked, eh, lobby looked beat down, man. TV was off. Feel what I'm saying? Red Roof Inn was a treacherous place, man. We walk back out to the car. We drive over to our room, which was behind the actual, like, lobby. We wrap around and i guess our room was like towards this big fence we're near like a, a airport uh it's like a street street back in my hometown like it, and it's a fence and then you could hear the airport about like 15 minutes from there but you you could you could see planes pulling off you could see you could hear planes you know what i'm saying coming in and shit like that so it was loud too the the the, the environment was real just just noisy you feel what i'm saying so crackheads do you know every every beat down hotel gotta have a few crackheads you know the, the usual you know what i mean this is stuff that comes with it you know it's not they don't just show up by surprise you're gonna get a few crackheads at a beat down hotel you know so we had the usual crackheads with shopping carts it was crackheads with shopping carts i don't even know how they got these shopping carts like it wasn't even a, a damn walmart nearby you feel what i'm saying but they just managed to get the shopping carts over to the hotel like where the fuck did you get this walmart shopping cart at and the closest walmart about five miles from here you really joyride that motherfucker all the way from walmart to here oh yeah you dedicated but crackheads do that though you feel me so it definitely had the crackheads we get into the hotel man we checked in like i said mind you there's no elevators you feel me so we climbing these stairs we on the third floor climbing these stairs tired as hell we get to the damn room. Key card don't even work. You got to blow on it like a PlayStation CD and wipe it on your damn shorts pocket. You try to get the key in there. It it just don't work. It keep blinking red. You feel what I'm saying? Got to blow it. Shake it on there. You feel what I'm saying? On your pants leg. Then it finally works. We open the door. Lights flickering like a motherfucker. Flickering. You cut them on, they flickering. That's a problem. You feel what I'm saying? You look on the floor, they got these green, it ain't even like carpet. You feel what I'm saying? Like on the reviews and shit, it says it's carpet on the amenities. Nigga, this is, a, it's green, short, bald carpet. It ain't even carpet, it's turf, my nigga. Like, you about to play a flag football game in that bitch. It's turf in that hotel room. Like, this shit, and it was hard as hell, too. Like, you had to tiptoe on it, you feel what I'm saying? Real hard. Pause. Like, I'm telling you, bro, Red Roof Inn ain't, ain't, ain't what it's saying, you feel me? And and it was very, they made it to be a very popular hotel back then, bro. But I feel like we've really elevated as a, as a country because that shit is trash now. You feel me? It was trash then, it's trash now. So for them to rank it as a, a top, I'm going to just say it was a motel, bro. This, this is, Red Roof Inn was basically a motel. They capping saying it was a it was a hotel they need to take hotel out their name change change that h to an m it was definitely a motel it gave you a motel vibe 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so we got into our room, like I said, it was turf, like the, the carpet was turfed. The bed, but, but it was, the bed, like, you know how sheets be tucked up under the bed when you get into a hotel? You got to pull for your damn life, like you playing tug of war with it to get a sheet over you. Bro, them motherfuckers was so loose and crunchy, bro. I ain't never slept on a crunchy sheet, bro. It felt like I slept, I was sleeping on a damn, a hard, uh, Felt like I was sleeping on a hard shell taco, my nigga. Mind you, we all tired. We just had got finished from packing from the homeless shelter. Then going over to Red Cross for about an hour to get everything situated. And then they place us in this, I guess, house-to-house living situation um, hotel program. You feel me? So that's why we were at Red, Red Roof Inn in the first place. But this, this crunchy-ass hard shell, tortilla shell ass cover you you couldn't even get from from under the damn the bed bro it was so it was a struggle my nigga it took three of us to get it from get it from under there it was like rat my nigga and it smelled like piss like not just human piss though it smelled like dog piss my nigga you feel what i'm saying but that's not even the worst part like i'm saying you feel me walk around you get to the restaurant not restaurant. That motherfucker ain't have no restaurants. You get to the restroom. Feel what I'm saying? The restroom smell like piss. And and it's stained in the back of the damn toilet. Stains everywhere. Like niggas just be pissing in the back of the toilet. Like three blind niggas was just in there pissing at the same time. That's how many stains it was, bro. Feel what I'm saying? You get in the restroom. That's what you see. And then it's a shower, bro. Not no stand-up shower. Just a regular like shower bath combination. Feel what I'm saying? You look in there, bro, near the ring of the tub where the water goes down the drain. Roaches look like termites and, and, and mice dropping. You feel what I'm saying? Meese mice dropping. You could definitely tell there was mice dropping because the bugs was fucking doing a salsa dance around them and shit. Like it was like an ant party or something. But it wasn't ants. You know how ants move and ants work in a line? No, these was fucking roaches with antennas. These motherfuckers. And, 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 and crawling all over the mice droppings. You feel what I'm saying? Scariest shit I done seen in my life. Immediately ran out the room. My mom, she was cussing the Parjit dude out. Par, Parjot, Parjit, P-R-L. I don't even know how to spell his name, bro. I just remember the, the, the P in his name. Par something. Feel me? Cussing his ass out. It's like, what can we do, though, if we're in this assistance program? It's not like we pay money. This was like a voucher for us. You feel me? Everybody was heated, though, bro. The, the, the whole room was just a, a hell hole. Feel what I'm saying? Like a hole in the wall, bro. Luckily, it wasn't no holes in the wall. I didn't notice any. You feel what I'm saying? But everything else was fucked up. The TV about the size of a damn tablet. Feel me? I don't know how a family of five was supposed to watch that. Like, the TV was small as hell. Small as hell. Like, not even... The TV wasn't even shoulder width apart, my nigga. This shit was like kitty meat width apart. You feel what I'm saying? Right here type shit. Wasn't even shoulder width apart. So, the whole room was fucked up, man. That's... That was my worst... The worst hotel we stayed in. Um, thankfully, we was able to get our, uh, our room switched. But they had to... They had to block that whole damn room off. Feel what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure that wasn't the only room like that. But they had to block that whole damn room off. They know they did ass wrong for that. I don't know if maids just felt like that was just, that was too much for them. Or some cleaners or housekeeping felt like that was just, that was crossing the line. Feel what I'm saying? But they, they, they definitely didn't fuck with that room at all before we got there. You feel me? So they need to put that motherfucker. That whole hotel needs to be marked as condemned. I don't know how it's still open. It's still open. When I every time I visit home, I keep seeing me, motherfuckers check in and check out. That same room, I be seeing people come in and out of, hanging off the rail, trying to get in the sights. Like the only sights you see is the parking lot, other cars and shit, and a fence. Like I said, that's near the interstate and uh, the airport about 10, 15 minutes away. You can see planes and stuff like that coming in and coming out, but there were no sites. You feel what I'm saying? That's the uh, the other thing about it. Thankfully, we was able to get checked into a new room, man. Um, same turfy-ass carpet. And that's just like the the, the normal for that hotel. Uh, same same sheets. They weren't as crunchy. You feel what I'm saying? They had some they had some softness to them. Like, it was... It was some pull to them, but I still feel like if bed bugs existed, they would definitely, definitely would have checked in before us. 
Yeah, bed bugs would have definitely been in that bed. Like, nigga, I was here first. You feel me? So, but thankfully, I don't didn't see any at the time. So, I don't think they existed or they wasn't as popular. They wasn't um, in demand at the time, I should say. But uh, yeah, man, that was the worst hotel I've ever stayed in, man. I felt like I should share that information with you guys because I just, you feel me, came from Myrtle Beach for a small little vacation, man. I want to share that with you guys just to let y'all know that I, it's a blessing to be out of the situation that I was in. Um, I always I started from something that was treacherous and and basically trench like you feel me to actually be making you know some type of little change for myself and be able to do a little bit of something something better. You feel what I'm saying? So it's a blessing. Not to have to experience that, especially being a child. It trauma traumatizes you. I still get scared of little shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like shadows and stuff. You feel me? Because I, I think it's a roach or something. I think it's a little <laughs> fucking bed bug or termite or something. So, yeah, man. Bed bugs ain't coming to play until like 2014, 2015. You feel what I'm saying? They, that's when they start getting popular. It's like some like some damn, like a pair of uh, baby fat shoes. You feel what I'm saying? Like they just popped out of nowhere. Like, okay, I'm going to fuck with them. Or, or some damn... Like it's like some fidget spinners. You feel what I'm saying? Bed bugs came out when fidget spinners like started getting popular. So I, that's when that's when they came out. You feel me? Other than that, they wasn't there when I when I was growing up like a little jig. You feel what I'm saying? So if you want more story times, man? Let me know in the comments what you like to hear because I probably got some funny ass story times for y'all, man. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't did a story time in a minute, so this one felt good to get off my chest, especially getting a lot of good um engagement from that recent short I did, man. Um, if you haven't checked it out, the link is in the uh, description below. Feel what I'm saying? Um, Till next time, man. Leave them comments in the um, comment section. Show the love. You feel me? Show your support. Drop them likes. Subscribe to the channel once again. And uh, let me know some more story times y'all want to hear about, man. You feel me? I might be able to relate to y'all and give y'all some funny shit. So, appreciate you guys for tuning in, man. Till next time, it's your boy Action Jackson. Peace.